Well, what are the fans talking about? Uh, Joe Maurer signing or the new stadium? We get a lot of Joe Maurer questions. Uh, we get the occasional uh, question about the, about the ballpark, obviously. We get a lot of Pat Neshek questions, you know, a Minnesota Neshek, guy. Huh? You get a ton of Pat Neshek questions. And the funny thing is because the last couple of years I was out with Mike Redmond, who's no longer with the club, and he didn't get asked a ton of questions. Now that he's not with us, we get asked about Mike Redmond all the time. <laughs> Um, the funny thing really for me is what we don't get asked about. Nobody's asking about Justin Morneau's back, and nobody's asking about Francisco Liriano. Uh, but the good news is that Morney's back is fantastic, and Francisco's having a great offseason, so I guess that's a positive. Well, I heard yesterday uh, that they signed uh, a lot of the ball players, got them under contract. Yeah, it was fun for us because one of those guys was Matt Career, and uh, it happened while we were on the bus, and uh, we tried to get him to pay for dinner with his new money, and he wouldn't. Uh, but, yeah, they signed all eight. You know, the Twins have not gone to an arbitration here since uh, 2006 with Kyle Loesch. And, and that's a testament to the team and being an environment where the players want to be. So, yeah, all eight of them got inked up. Well, of course, uh, Twins fans hear your voice all the time, so here they can see what you look like, too. Uh, is that a good thing? <laughs> that's a good thing. You put a lot that. of time in uh, with Twins broadcast, don't you? We spend a lot of time. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of my wife and baby uh, for the summer, but th that's the way the game works. You play every day, and, uh, you know, we're pretty proud of the work we do with our pregame lineup card and our postgame download. And you can do a pregame show in a slapdash way. Uh, some teams do. Yeah. Or you can put a lot of time and energy into it, and you get out of it what you put into it and we hope that fans across Twins territory and certainly here in Detroit Lakes get a lot out of it because we're putting as much as we can into it. Well you got a lot of stations so uh, wherever you go in Minnesota, the Dakotas, Iowa, Wisconsin you can pick up Twins baseball. That's the plan. We want it We want it everywhere and you know if we didn't have all those stations we'd be in trouble because there are a ton of people who, who live and breathe and die with with what's going on and that's that's a beautiful thing and uh, you have to treat those people right and vice versa and you know Tony's on the caravan as I mentioned he started doing this in 1964 on the caravan now what would keep a guy coming back that many years well it's stuff like this you know it's when you see the way people react to Tony and and the chance to get out and see different people that keeps him coming back and that's I think a testament to the people at Twins Territory and and obviously to Tony himself okay thank you Chris and we'll see you at the ballpark Nick Blackburn let's talk a little bit uh, what kind of season did you have last year uh, pretty good you know my numbers were pretty much the same as they were in 08 and uh, I, was, I was fairly satisfied I had I started off pretty strong had a little slump in the middle but finished up pretty well so uh, fairly pleased with how it went. Uh, we got to the playoffs, so that's that's the most important thing. Well, how are things stacking up this year? I know uh, the Twins are, are looking at their staff, the relieving staff too, and the starting staff. It looks pretty solid at this point, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think uh, I think front office and the coaches have to have a pretty good feeling. You know, I feel like we're more set than we have been in the years past. So uh, hopefully, we can go all out, all go out there and uh, perform and do what we can do and win some games. Of course, you played in the uh, the Dome for a few years, but you're going outdoors, but you play a lot of games outdoors anyway, so it probably won't be too much of a difference, except for maybe uh, in April and uh, in the fall. Yeah, I, I mean, it's baseball's been played outside for, for many, many years, so uh, it's just gonna, an adjustment that we'll have to make, and hopefully it won't affect us too much. Well, you have to adjust a little bit on windy days in Minnesota then, too, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's that's very true, but... Like I said, the other team has to deal with it, too, so we're not going to be the only ones. Uh, how do the Twins look this year with the signings they've made and uh, the hitters and so forth uh, stacking up pretty good? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've only added a couple new guys to the roster. We have pretty much the whole team coming back from last year, which is great. You know, uh, we, we got to where we wanted to get to, not quite as far, but made it to the playoffs. So we're pretty pleased with that. And with all the guys that we have coming back, it should be a promising year. So what are the fans asking you out on this tour? What kind of questions are you getting? I'm sure you can guess, mostly about Maurer signing back, uh, a lot about target field, you know, if we'll be able to play in the cold. But um, those are probably the two most common so far. Uh, where do you uh, off-season? Are you in Florida or down south somewhere? Uh, my wife and I have a house in Blanchard, Oklahoma. I uh, grew up in Oklahoma and probably won't ever leave there. So you're kind of a suitor then, huh? No, I'm an OSU Cowboys fan. Yeah, there you go. Well, good luck this season. All right, thank you. Nick was just kind of jealous of you, that nice contract that you <laughs> signed, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, after a couple of years, you know, the three years that you don't really have the liberty to negotiate a contract, uh, it's nice to be able to be on the other side and get, get things worked out. Well, things really went uh, well for you last year. 
Yeah, I mean, um, coming off a tough season, season in 08, uh, it was good to get out there and uh, get off to a good start and, and continue it through the end of the season. How's the relief staff looking this year now? Great. You know, we have, uh, you know, Roush is coming back, uh, myself. Maharis is, 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 you know, had a great year last year. Jesse Crane came back and pitched great at the end of the season. And, uh, you know, Nishak's uh, supposedly 100% healthy. So uh, we got a lot of depth and a lot of different options that we can throw out there. Well, you are what are you? They kind of call you the setup man, then. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I think we're all kind of in that same role. It's like, uh, you know, five setup guys rolled into one, and uh, I think you know you play so many teams so many times. It's it's good to throw different looks at uh, every once in a while. But I think we'll all take the uh, the setup man name. What's your best pitch? Uh, you know, I, I my best pitch is probably my curveball. It's uh, one I've always had and always liked throwing because get a couple guys to buckle their knees and and, and look silly and uh, that's probably my favorite one to throw what's your favorite ballpark to pitch in uh, the dome was good to pitch in yeah. but uh, um, I, I, I enjoy going to watch the game in Boston um, the fans are fans are always good and the atmosphere is always great so hopefully uh, we all enjoy pitching at Target Field I think you will. It looks like a great ballpark. I know the fans are going to love it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to love being opening it up. Uh, you know, open up a new stadium is, is a dream come true for a lot of a lot of baseball players. Uh, nobody, Not many guys get a chance to do that. So to be on that first team, it's going to be uh, exciting this, this year. Well, we're looking forward to you in the target field. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're still involved with the Twins. Yes, I stay after 49 years. I stay here with the Twins. Uh, I never uh, went for another conversation, and yeah, I still live here in the Twin City. It's nice. It's nice. Well, you played outdoors at the old Met, and now we're going outdoors again. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think I think it'll be nice. Uh, I think for those players who be used to play, coming to Minnesota and playing the dome, now they know it's a little bit different. The the, the weather gonna be a little bit cold. Well, this stadium is beautiful. This, this stadium is beautiful. They did a, uh, a beautiful job. They do it every single possible to keep it warm. I know they don't, they don't go bother the players. I hope they don't bother the defense too because, so, you know, it's something that you guys been looking for that for 20 years to be able to come back and play outside again. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, the Twins? Uh, they had a good year last year. What do you think this year, this year's Twins? Well, this year, we still have a, uh, the same thing. Uh, we got a new short stock uh, now, and uh, the, the, but, but well, a little bit more experience. I think the thing probably will be better this year than last year. I think maybe this year will be the year that we go all, all over the jump and, and be in the, in the World Series. Do you think Joe Mauer is as good a hitter as you were? I tell you one thing, uh, Joe Mauer was this kind of guy who came in one time every 20 or 30 years. He's a great hitter. I think he, you never know. I think right now he's uh, the best hitter I ever saw. Uh, he 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 been he been super. Uh, you never know. He maybe was better than me. Hopefully we can get that contract signed with him then, huh? Oh, it's no, it's no, no. I don't worry about that. Uh, uh, the Minnesota Twins will do everything possible to to keep him here in the Twin City. If he wants to stay here, really, I don't think there will be no problem. I think, uh, you know, the money will be there for him. Uh, but all depends. Sometimes the people like to move around to go to different places. But I hope he stay here because uh, it's good to play here and the fans here, they, they, uh, they deserve the best. And right now, I think he's the best in American League. I think if his mom and dad have anything to say about it, he'll stay in Minnesota. Well, I think the family have a lot of things to say. Uh, the fans here in Minnesota have a lot of things to say. And the people here have, a, I think, uh, Minnesota Twins, you know. This is the thing he signed This is uh, from the beginning. The, the, uh, and he, you want to step on the same thing if it's possible. Plus, uh, as a player, if you feel uncomfortable in one place, you know, to go, uh, want to go to a different place, and you never know what to spend in another place. I think that Minnesota is the best place to play baseball if you have to. I agree. Thank you, Tony, and we'll see you at the new target field. Okay. Thank you, and good luck.